GPS is just another monitoring tool for us as a performance department. Um, Catapult GPS, which is a system which we use, allows us to do real-time and post-match, post-training analysis on the players. A typical training day setup will involve turning on the Catapult units themselves, having the bibs ready for the players, and then having those ready for the players to put on. So typically the unit will go inside a vest, the vest will be numbered for all the players so that they know which one to take. Um, and then coming towards the pitch then, so the players then will take those vests and put them on underneath their gear. For the setup of the laptop and the, and the live feed which requires the antenna, um, I'll typically set up a laptop, um, have the live feed running, connect the antenna so that it picks up all the units that the players are wearing as they enter onto the pitch. And then that will just allow us to do the real-time analysis as the play is happening on the pitch. There are two distinct differences between live time analysis and downloaded analysis once, once the session is completed. Um, what's involved is there's just an awful lot more variables to be looked at once it's downloaded fully. And that's due mainly to the fact that you can't see some of those variables when it's live and running on the pitch. But the live ones themselves give you very general indicators as to what's happening on the pitch. Things like distance covered, sprints, the sprinting speed, and then recent efforts around, again, contacts or collisions, accelerations and um, hard kind of sprints themselves. So, but when it's downloaded then there's an awful lot greater breadth of information about each player and about the whole session. So once all that information has been collected about a player and we have all these average sessions covered or the max, max positional data from a game, we can then use that to kind of inform our training or, or monitor players whilst they're training and in that sense we can, we can make sure that the training isn't overloading one player particularly against all the others in the group in any particular week. So yeah there's a lot of benefits from it. Obviously there's very individual profiles of all the players based on where they play. Obviously our back three players are quite quick, they'll cover an awful lot of high speed running distance, an awful lot of sprints within the game. Typically your back row forwards will go through an awful amount of contacts and all that is analysed by the system as well in that you can see all of this occurring. But what that means when the session is running live in a training session or analysing after a match we can see how each of the players compare not only against themselves from game to game but against other players in their position within that game.